do not believe in hell when you die and you land up there then automatically you will believe and that's why Jesus Christ has promised us a place called heaven heaven is a beautiful place life is not guaranteed life is not sure whether you are young whether you are old whether you are healthy whether you are sick whether you go to the gym whether you are health conscious does not matter because when death comes you die and guarantee is not there you may be young you may be old life is not guarantee next minute you cannot give guarantee of what is going to happen even the doctors cannot guarantee you how long will you go to live it thus way when it is time you need to come to jesus because he is calling you why only jesus and no other person because only jesus died for you on the cross of calvary he shed his precious blood and is coming back very soon for you and for me the bible says it is not the will of god that any soul must perish the word of god says what a man if you profit against the whole world a what a man can give in exchange of his soul because every person is born of three things one is the body one is the soul and one is the spirit when you die your body does where your body goes and your spirit leaves you but it's your soul that will be judged my brother and sister in christ today as i'm giving you an open invitation for you to come because jesus loves you the way you are jesus loves you he promised one thing that he will never leave you nor forsake you one day your girlfriend can leave you one day your boyfriend can leave you one day your wife can leave you one day your husband can leave you one day your children can leave you but jesus said i will never leave you no will i forsake you because the love of jesus is unconditional but whereas the love of man is conditional you may be in love and one day your boyfriend will tell oh i do not have any more feelings my darling your girlfriend will say oh my honey i do not have any more feelings for you and that's where today we see why because the love of man is conditional but the love of god is unconditional and that's where jesus christ demonstrated his love by dying for you and for me on the cross of calvary he is interested in your life that's why come now he is calling you because life is not guaranteed life is not sure any time from now you can die you are you sure that tomorrow morning you can wake up are you sure that what is going to happen the next minute you are not sure of life my brother and sister in christ because many people wanted to live very long but they could not live up we know when the pandemic hit uk many people died many people died of the covid they never expected that they're going to die but they died why because death will come one day everyone has to die whether you are young whether you are old you have to die it does not matter because when death comes no one can stop it my brother and sister in christ and today it's an open invitation for you to come when there is hope uh, in a hopeless situation is only jesus can give you hope uh, only jesus can assure you a place called heaven uh. no one else on this planet earth can assure you heaven heaven is a beautiful place uh, because the bible speak of life eternal and that's what jesus christ has promised uh, each one of us he has promised you that when you believe in the name of jesus he can give you a place called heaven heaven is a real and even hell is also real hell was not made for you it was made for the devil it was made for the fallen angels uh, because heaven is being made for you and me why you and me because we are made uh, in the image of god god is the one who created you it was not science that created you you were not born from a monkey you are not born from a chimpanzee you did not come from a gorilla you have been made uh, in the image and the likeness of god and that's why god loves you my brother my sister whichever country you may come does not matter it does not matter whether you are white whether whether you are black whether you are yellow whether you are blue because god does not look at your color he looks into your heart he looks into your heart because god loves you and doesn't want your soul to perish he doesn't want your soul to burn in hell fire for everlasting my brother my sister come today jesus is calling you by name he knows everything about you there is nothing that jesus do not know about you if you are sick come he can heal you
because the Bible speak of healing whoever came to Jesus he healed them all he did miracles he raised the dead and today Jesus is alive because he is no more in the grave but he has risen and today we serve a living God today say, oh I do not believe in God many will say oh I do not believe in God but the Bible says up in Psalm 14 verse 2 only a fool in his heart say that there is no God but there is a God who rules the heaven and the earth. There is a God who judges everyone. There is a God who looks at you. Come today, Jesus is calling you by name. Today he is calling you by name. My brother, my sister. Because when you die, are you sure you are going to make it to heaven? Are you sure you are going to make it to heaven? Are you sure you are going to make it to heaven? If you die now, are you sure you are going to make it to heaven? If you are not sure, come now. This is your time. This is your time. Come now. If you are not sure that you can make it to heaven, come now, we can pray. Hallelujah! Come today! Jesus is calling us. My brother, my sister, your money cannot take you to heaven now. Your business cannot take you to heaven now. Your boyfriend cannot take you to heaven. Your girlfriend cannot take you to heaven. Your wife cannot take you to heaven. The government cannot take you to heaven. The Prime Minister cannot take you to heaven. It's only Jesus can take you to heaven. Because only Jesus has promised us that uh, I am the way, I am the life, and I am the truth. Uh, this only Jesus can take you. Come now, my brother, my sister. Today, we are preaching about Jesus. Uh, we are not preaching about religion. Uh, because religion cannot take you to heaven. Tradition cannot take you to heaven. Customs cannot take you to heaven. Your boyfriend cannot take you to heaven. Your girlfriend cannot take you to heaven. Your wife cannot take you to heaven. Your husband cannot take you to heaven. It's only Jesus can take you to heaven because only Jesus has promised uh, the church. Uh, he has promised you and I. He has promised you that when you accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior, when you die, you will make it to heaven. When you die, you will make it to heaven. Many people are busy on this world. Many people are walking on this road, doing shopping. But are you sure that when you die, that you will make it to heaven? Are you sure that when you die, you will make it to heaven? I can guarantee you that many of them are confused. Uh, many of them do not know that there is a place called heaven and there is a place called hell. Uh, and both are real. Both are real. And you can go to heaven by believing in Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ came to save and seek the lost. Jesus Christ came for sinners like you and me. Jesus Christ came for every drug addict. Uh, Jesus Christ came for every alcoholic. Uh, Today Jesus Christ has came to call sinners uh, to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent of your wicked ways. Uh, repent of your sinful nature. Come back to God because God is holy. Uh, he wants you to be holy. Come away from your sin. Come away from your bondage. Come away from slavery. If you are a drug addict, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. If you are an alcoholic, come to Jesus. If you are living in sin, come to Jesus. If you are a fornicator, come to Jesus. He will accept you the way. Because Jesus Christ did not come for good people. Jesus Christ did not come for holy people. Jesus Christ did not come for righteous people. He came for sinners like you and me. Because the Bible says, uh, for all have sinned uh, and fall shortage of the grace of God. All have sinned uh, and fall shortage of the glory of God. For no one is righteous, no one is holy, no one is good, and no one is perfect. Uh. That's why come today, he's calling you. My brother, my sister, come today, he's calling you. No matter from which country you have come, does not matter. Come today, he's calling you. Because uh, the greatest miracle is salvation. Without Jesus Christ, you will land up in hellfire. Without Jesus Christ, uh, you will be lost. Uh, you will be lost. Uh, because there is only one Savior. There is only one Messiah. And that Messiah's name is Jesus. The Savior's name is Jesus. He died for you and for me. That you may have life eternal. And that's what the gospel is. That's why come today, my brother and sister, do not delay. Jesus loves you the way you are. Jesus loves the way you dress. Jesus loves the way you smile. Jesus loves the way you sing. Jesus loves the way you dance. Because it's only He who showed interest in His creation. He has shown interest only in the one who has created. Because you have been created in the image of God. You have been created in the likeness of God. Because God has created you with a plan and a purpose. So that when you die, that you will be with him in heaven that you will be with him in heaven heaven is a beautiful place my brother
Heaven is a beautiful place. Come today, for He is calling you by name. He is calling you. He is calling you by name. He knows everything about you. You may be a Muslim. You may be a Hindu. You may be an atheist. Does not matter because Jesus Christ came for everyone. The Bible says, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son." That who believes in Him shall not perish, but have life eternal. And that's where Jesus Christ came for you and for me. Jesus Christ came for sinners like you and me. Jesus Christ came for drug addicts like you and me. Jesus Christ came for alcoholics like you and me. Jesus Christ has come for everyone. Today is the day of salvation. Come today. Let the devil not deceive you. Let not the world deceive you, because the world is being deceived. The devil is deceiving people. He says you do not need to believe in Jesus. That's what the lie of the devil. That's what the liar of the devil. He was a liar from the beginning, and he's deceiving you. Come now. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. But come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Do not be deceived, ma. Because you cannot uh, go to heaven without Jesus. Uh. You cannot go to heaven without Jesus. Uh. Jesus has promised a place uh, for you and for me. Uh. He has promised a place for you and me. Uh. The world has not promised you anything, uh, but Jesus has promised you a place in heaven. Uh. Because the Bible says uh, our citizenship is in heaven. Uh. Our citizenship is in heaven. There are many mansions, and He has prepared a place for you. He has prepared a place for you. He He has prepared a place for you. Jesus has prepared a place for each one of us in heaven. And how can we go to heaven by believing in the name of Jesus, by confessing your sins to Jesus, by washing yourself with the blood of Jesus? He has promised you the place. My brother, my sister, do not ignore, do not mock her. You may be laughing her, you may be mocking her. The Bible says God cannot be mocked her. God cannot be mocked her. What you sow is what you reap her. Come now. Today he is calling you by name. Come now. This is the day of salvation. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Therefore, we will rejoice sir, and be glad. Why can we rejoice? Sir? Because Jesus Christ has promised us a place in heaven. If you die today, I am sure you are going to make it to heaven. I am sure you are going to make it to heaven. I am asking you a question. If you die today, are you going to make it to heaven? Yes. If you are making it to heaven, it is good news, my brother. If you are making it to heaven, good news, my sister. But if you are not able to make it heaven, you have wasted your life, you have wasted your money, you have wasted your age, you have wasted everything. And finally, you will end up in hellfire. That's why the Bible says, "It's not the will of God. It's not the will of God. It's not the will of God that anyone will end up in hellfire." That's why today is calling you, my brother or my sister, wherever you are. Are you sure if you die today that you will make it to heaven? Are you sure? And says yes. I am hundred percent sure that when I die, I will make it to heaven. If you can declare it, then that is good news, sir. That is good news, my brother, my sister. But if you cannot, it is time for you to come back to Jesus. It's time for you, like a prodigal son, like a prodigal daughter, you need to come back. You have gone very far from God. You have gone very far. You lived your life however you wanted. You wasted your life. You wasted your money. But today, Jesus is calling you. Jesus wants you. Jesus wants you. Jesus desires you the way you are. The way you are. Come now. Jesus is calling you. He's calling you by name. 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 Do not ignore the call of God. Do not ignore when there is light. Come. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. That whoever follows Jesus shall not walk into darkness, but they shall walk in the light. Because Jesus Christ has come for you and for me. Jesus Christ has come for everyone. Jesus Christ has not come for a nation. Jesus Christ has not come for a city. Jesus Christ has not come for a community. He has come for everyone. Come now, come now. He's calling you. If you are sick, come to Jesus. He can heal you. The doctors must give up upon you. The NHS must have given up upon you. But Jesus does not give up on you. Jesus does not give up on you. When you call upon Jesus, He will heal you of your sickness. He will heal you of your disease. He will heal you of your virus. Even if you have AIDS, come to Jesus. He can heal you. If you are suffering from cancer, come to Jesus. He can heal you. If you are suffering from diabetes, come to Jesus. He will heal you. If you are suffering from dementia, come to Jesus. He will heal you. If you are paranoid, schizophrenia, come 
come to Jesus, He will heal you. If you have Parkinson disease, come to Jesus, He will heal you. If you have high blood pressure, come to Jesus, He will heal you. If you have mental health, come to Jesus, He will help you. Because there are many people who have anxiety, many people are stressed, many people are depressed, many people are confused with life. They do not know what to do with life. If you are depressed, come to Jesus. If you are depressed, come to Jesus. If you are stressed up, come to Jesus. If your anxiety is high, come to Jesus. He will heal you. He will heal you. He will heal you of your sickness. He will heal you of your disease. He will heal you of your virus. There is not a disease, there is not a sickness that Jesus cannot heal. Come now, today he is calling you. He is calling you by name. He is calling you by name. This may be the last day on this planet earth. This may be the last day. We do not know because life is not guaranteed. We are running out of time. Any time from now you can die. Even this minute you can get a heart attack and die. You can die in an accident. In the night you can die while you are sleeping. Life is not sure. Life is not guaranteed. Come when there is a hope in a hopeless situation. Come when there is hope in a hopeless situation. Because your hope will not be cut off. Jesus will never disappoint you. But your boyfriend will disappoint you. Your girlfriend will disappoint you. Your husband will disappoint you. Your wife will disappoint you. Your children will disappoint you. They will leave you and they will go away. But Jesus said, I will never leave you. No, will I forsake you. That is the love of of Jesus. That is the love of the Messiah. That is the love of the King who is calling you by name. Come today. Come today. Come today. Come to Him the way you are. Come the way you are. Come to Jesus the way you are. Come the way you are. Come. Because Jesus has come for sinners like you and me. Jesus has come for sinners like you and me. Jesus did not come for righteous people. Jesus did not come for holy people. Jesus did not come for perfect. Because no one is perfect. No one is righteous. No one is good. And no one is holy. Do not be like a saint. Come today. For Jesus is calling you by name. He doesn't want your soul to perish. He doesn't want you to land up in hell fire. Come now. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you by name. He knows everything. He knows your story. He knows everything about you. Nothing can be hidden from Jesus. Nothing can be hidden from Jesus. Come today. He is calling you. Today, Jesus is calling you. This is the day of salvation. This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice. Let us rejoice when we die. Let us rejoice. Because heaven is eternal. Heaven is permanent. But the life which you are living today is a temporary life. The life which you are living today is a temporary life. Life is not sure. Life is not guaranteed. You do not know what is going to happen. If you are not guaranteed of heaven, come now. He is calling you. He is calling you by name. It does not matter about your religion. It does not matter of your belief. It does not matter of your tradition. It does not matter of your custom. Because Jesus Christ has come for you and for me. He is interested in you. He loves the way you are. He is the Lord who looks into the heart. Jesus looks into your heart. He does not look at your appearance. He does not look at your color. He looks into your heart. Come now. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you by name. Jesus is calling you by name. Jesus is calling you by name. He is interested in you. It's time to come. Come. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice in heaven. Let us rejoice in heaven. Let us rejoice in heaven. That when you die, that you must be in heaven. That when you die, you must be in heaven. When you die, you must land up in heaven. If you do not be in heaven, you have wasted your life. You have wasted your money. You have wasted your age. My brother and sister in Christ, God cannot be mocked. God cannot be mocked. God cannot be mocked. What a man sows is what he reaps. It's only Jesus has promised you. Only Jesus is going to come the second time. No one else is going to come. No one is going to save your soul. It's only Jesus who will judge the living and the dead. He will judge you. He will judge me. He will judge everyone. Come when there is hope in a hopeless situation. Come when there is light. Because no one can walk in the dark. But they can walk in the light. Because Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He is the light of the world. Come today, my brother, my sister. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. He's calling you by name. 
is calling you by name is calling you by name is calling you by name today respond respond to jesus today may be a last day today may be a last night if you die today are you sure you are going to make it to heaven if you die now are you sure you are going to make it to heaven whether you are young whether you are old one day you will die 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 when you die can you make it to heaven can you make it to heaven can you